Labour. Yes, exactly. Labour. Now, I'm, uh, I'm not implying that our problems in the Reich are the same as in the Eastern Territories, but the need for workers, as the military need men, the need for production is only growing. That is why sterilisation is the, uh, the preferred option. Uh, 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 it leaves our captive workforce what remains of it. I do not think our people want to wait a generation to end this problem. We have deferred Jews by the thousands in armaments, construction. I, I can... wait, I can, uh, I can give you an exemplar. It's uh, just a quote from a letter from the Gebruder Public Company, but there are many companies... Uh, of voiceless. Oh, and uh, yeah. then the, the, the specialists for IG Farben... I do not think you understand. Berlin. Over 10,000 Jews in the metal industry alone. About 19,000 altogether in Berlin, and that's just Berlin failing our production goals even now. For the war. That makes a point. We are moving too fast here. Nothing has been thought through. Indeed. This question of sterilization and the question of deportation are separate. Yes, but linked. Deportation, evacuation, elimination. Where I am, we have to move them out now, quickly. Wipe them away. Yeah, not to return. Never to return. The truth is there are labor shortages in the Reich and elsewhere that we control. There is no argument about that fact. Yeah, everywhere. And in our four-year plan... Oh, not that fucking four-year plan again. <laughs> but our war is against the Jews. I do not see the logic. We will not sterilize every Jew and wait for them to die. We will not sterilize every Jew and then exterminate the race. That's farcical. Dead men don't hump, dead women don't get pregnant. Death is the most reliable form of sterilization. Put it that way. So who is deferred? First degree mixed married to Germans with second degree mixed children are exempt. On an individual basis, first degree mixed who have been awarded special privilege. For compulsory labor where I needed. cannot give a damn rule for everything. Can I, can I just say one word more? Now, in the obligation, the, the, the obligation oh, no, to, to oh. maintain a lawful Another society, lecture. lawful society, what will we Another be saying lecture. to those where we are departing from the legal letter and deporting a Jew Go married to a them. German, we, a new law will be required by mandating it. all these Why marriages don't you write be dissolved. Consider. Consider. The Jews are taken away. The German spouses will presumably inherit the property of the Jewish spouses. Go to court, a death certificate will be applied for, and, and what happens to your secret killings then? No matter what you call them. The secret is out, dear friends. Perhaps not inheritance, perhaps, uh, perhaps divorce. Freedom to remarry. So, a requisite divorce mechanism, dealing with all these marriages to be terminated, becomes the Reich's responsibility to its German citizens. Fuck. I am speaking! Now, except for those initiated, before the spouse is deported, the courts are going to be so busy with divorces that the civil courts will be on 24-hour shifts and the litigation wait will be accounted in decades. Or longer. Well, I, for one, have no sympathy with Germans who climbed into bed with members of the tribe. Nor do I. I ask myself, what is this concern? When the ruling principle of our government and our party is to make Germany Jew free, you are arguing to let these yids stay? To influence them to, to operate freely, <laughs> with the exception they're, that you're new to them? They're not free. They, they are not free. The law restricts them, it isolates them. I am merely Perhaps speaking Perhaps the judge has some the... special love for them. Yes, 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 special love for them. Yes. Uh, for whom? Uh, for Jews. Oh, wonderful. You, you don't uh, have my credentials. Uh, forgive me, from your uniform, I can infer that you're shallow, ignorant and naive about the Jews. Your line, the, the, what the party rants on about, is, is how, how inferior they are, some, some subspecies, and I keep saying how wrong that is. They are sublimely clever, and they are intelligent as well. My indictments of that race are stronger and heavier because they are real, not your uneducated ideology. They are arrogant and self-obsessed and calculating and reject the Christ, and I will not have them pollute German blood. Please, Doctor. He, he doesn't understand, and neither do his people. Deal with the reality of the Jew, and the world will applaud us. Treat them as, as uh, imaginary phantoms, evil in human fantasies, and the world will have justified contempt for us. To kill them casually without regard for the law martyrs them, which will be their victory. Sterilization recognizes them as a part of our species, but prevents them from being a part of our race. They'll disappear soon enough. And we will have acted in defense of our race and of our species and by the law. This fellow mentioned the law for the protection of German blood. I wrote that law. And when you have my credentials, then we'll talk about who loves the Jews and who hates them. <laughs>